you for coming out. I was leaving my husband this morning, and I said, you know what? Georgia has a lot of patriots. They're going to come out because we didn't know if it would rain. And I said, you can always count on Georgia to have their patriots come out. So we're so glad to see you today. You know, this is my third time campaigning with Kelly. The first time I was campaigning, she had just been appointed, and I loved her story. It was a story of someone who grew up on a family farm, and I grew up where family farms were, and people who do that know hard work. She put her work through college, so she knows the value of a dollar. She went into a male-dominated business and was successful. She's tough. She's tough. So I loved her story. We came out, we campaigned. Then I came back the second time to Georgia, and it was right before the general election. And I didn't come because she had a great story. I came because she had a great record. She was one of our most conservative senators in the Senate. She supported our President Trump every step of the way. She's pro-life, pro-Second Amendment. She fought against defunding the police and cancel culture. And she stood up to China and had the president's back. So I know you're inundated with TV commercials and mail pieces and text messages. And I know everybody's told you that all eyes are on Georgia, and they truly are. And it feels like everybody's pockets are in Georgia, right? Because all of the campaign money. But why does this matter so much? I want to tell you why it matters for me. Freedom, yes, thank you. I want to tell you why this matters to me. China is our number one national security threat. I went up against them every day. They want to dominate the world. They want to destroy America. And what I will tell you is, President Trump fought against China, put sanctions on China, and when they almost destroyed the world with this coronavirus, he shut down the airports, and he's getting us a safe and effective vaccine within a year, and Kelly Leffler stood by his side. In the Obama administration, they sent nearly two, pla they sent two planes of cash to Iran in hopes of if we pay them off, they'll stop their bad behavior. All they did was funnel money to the terrorist groups. President Trump came in, got out of the Iran deal, put sanctions on Iran, bringing them to their knees, took out Soleimani, and Kelly Leffler stood by him every step of the way. Now, President Trump gave us hundreds of judges. Great judges, great Supreme Court justices. How about Amy Coney Barrett? You know, I call her our minivan justice because she ran circles around the Senate. See, they didn't understand when you've got seven kids in carpool, that's nothing to her, right? Well, you can thank David Perdue and Kelly Leffler. They supported Amy Coney Barrett. So what else is at stake is the liberals feel like if they can't win by playing by the rules, they just want to change the rules, right? You know one of the first things they want to do? They want to make D.C. and Puerto Rico a state so that they can get more liberals in the Senate. Kelly Leffler and David Perdue are going to be our first line of defense to make sure that that doesn't happen. And not enough people are talking about 
What happens whether the Republicans win the Senate or the Democrats win the Senate? If the Republicans win the Senate, Lindsey Graham will be our budget chair. If the Democrats win the Senate, you're not ready, Bernie Sanders will be your Senate chair. That's why this matters. Ladies and gentlemen, the Democratic Party is not your grandparents' Democratic Party. This is the Democratic Party that believes you cancel anyone that doesn't agree with you. They believe that you defund the police and stop taking care of those that serve us. They believe that socialism is the new way of life. And they think that you should put your lives and your health care in the hands of government. Now, we saw what happened when we lost the House. AOC and Pelosi are now running charge, right? They led the impeachment efforts, and they continue to say that they are going to bring socialism back to America where things can be better. But what we know is that we can't let that happen. Now, what do they want to do? Don't listen to me. Listen to them. Chuck Schumer says, first we take Georgia, then we change America. <laughs> AOC says, if we win the Senate, we don't have to negotiate with the Republicans anymore. <laughs> Georgia, that's why this matters. That's why it matters. It's why everyone in the country is looking at you. It's why everyone in the country is counting on you. And it's why everyone in the country will celebrate you when we win the races for David Perdue and Kelly Loeffler. The whole world will celebrate. That's right. They'll celebrate our freedoms. They'll celebrate the fact that we can take the Senate and make sure that we stop bad things from happening. But this is what we need to do. You came out for a rally. Now I need you to vote. I know you're going to vote. I need you to contact your family members and make sure they vote. I need you to contact your friends and your church members and make sure they vote. They're not going to tell you, but some of them don't know how. They don't know where to go. They don't know what to do. Let them know, send out to your email list how to vote early, where to go, what to do, what they need to have. And ladies and gentlemen, I look forward to celebrating with all of you in Georgia January 5th when we bring David Perdue and Kelly Leffler back to the Senate. Give it up for Kelly!